you know, water is such an interesting topic because it affects everyone every day in lots of different ways. Um, and, you know, it can be a, an artistic or a poetic or a scientific thing. So I think it's going to be diverse and interesting. This was an experiment, I'll be very frank with you. I don't know that anybody has done anything like this. Are you crazy? You're getting people from, you know, all these domains together for four days? But I had a gut feeling, and this was my personal motivation in the whole thing. This is the time. You have to start thinking about these things now. So, I mean, how would I get a, a mainstream economist agree and understand, though, I mean, the importance of the environment in, an, in a cost-benefit analysis? Another thing that the programming committee also came up with, we wanted you to get a critical view of what interdisciplinarity is. And you got it from the invited speakers. In a sense, they provided the backbone to the whole thing. They were not unanimous in their views. Uh, you got different viewpoints, and this is exactly what we wanted. Also, the format was well done because you have long lectures mm -hmm. and long uh, discussions. And superimposed to that, you have very short presentation, 10 minutes, where each participant can really give the essence of the research without going in detail. And so you, I think you maintain a lot of the concentration. I wasn't expecting to have such in-depth conversations about interdisciplinarity. The short talks were very wonderful. Most of the speakers and the invited speakers actually have um, applied their theoretical knowledge in the field. We wanted you to start thinking about how research is changing, the questions. I think the thing that struck me was the, the speed at which we should maybe do our research. Only 5% of Research Council funding goes to to interdisciplinary projects. Each one of us is becoming more knowledgeable. For me, I'm quite inspired now to go back and work, so I'm like thinking about skipping the weekend and just start with my ideas now. Uh, another thing that I think is very, very important that has most definitely been introduced for, through the talks, but also for your discussion, is the social impact. Looking at drinking water quality, you know, whenever you deal with stuff to do with health problems, you're dealing with mm -hmm. the emotional and social impacts of that. So you should be thinking about who you're doing your research for. It's a little bit self-indulgent just to do research for yourself. You gave short presentations from completely different areas. But we all understood, right? I, I didn't have a problem. But in actual fact, it proves in a sense that uh, we can communicate across borders. We'll go away with a different perception, at least, at the possibilities that interdisciplinary research can offer, and what are the options and how to approach it, what are the pitfalls, call it whatever you like. So if we've managed to achieve that, this is, you know, a great success. I would say it's one of the best conferences I've been to. Normally at a conference you get three questions for a question, three to three minutes of questions. That's it. And uh, but we've had we've had enough time for everyone to from different disciplines to, to to comment, and then you start to see how other people are seeing the same problem. To share ideas on, on how archaeology could help in, in solving problems, which would that had never have, had occurred to me. This is allows you to actually learn about what other people are doing and then if you have more questions you go ask the person who has done the actual research. At the beginning you have to talk about expectations. Mm -hmm. That's very important I think also in the interdisciplinary mm -hmm. environment because the expectations are completely different. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely been different from any expectations I had. Uh, it's been actually a lot more progressive than I thought it was going to be. Since I'm a scientist, I was really interested in people from the social sciences and humanities, which are an area where I don't know much. Wide, wide variety of talks, everybody's presented well, good communicators, excellent decision making on who came. <laughs>